In this video we're going to see how to insert different type of hatch patterns into the drawing and add further details to increase the amount of information of the project. First, I'm going to create a layer called Hatch Patterns. And now I'm going to set it as the current layer. Now I can hide the layers of the areas, text blocks, and dimensions to work with a cleaner floor plan. Now I can open the Hatch command and select a type of pattern. I'm going to choose the double scratch and set a spacing of 0.4. If I select the area insertion method, the hatch will be placed automatically within the boundaries of an enclosed area of walls or lines. So make sure it is checked and press OK. Now I just have to click in the inner side of one of the walls of this enclosed area and the hatch will be inserted automatically. I'm going to insert this hatch into the bathroom as well. However, if I want to decrease the spacing of this specific hatch, I can double click on it and the hatch window will pop up. As you can see, the modify box is checked, so now if I change any parameter, the hatch will be modified. Now make a right click to restart the hatch function, press OK and insert the rest of the hatches with the latest spacing value. Now I can select these three hatches and change their color if I want to. OK, let's restart the hatch function by doing a right click with the mouse and this time I'm going to choose a predefined hatch type. From all these options, I'm going to select the Dolmit pattern. I'll rotate this pattern 90 degrees and set a scale of 0.03. Make sure the area insertion is still selected, press OK and click on this side of the wall to insert the new hatch pattern. Now you can select it and change the color if needed. I'm going to show you a different insertion method for the terrace. This area is not enclosed, so I'll have to use another way to insert the hatch. Right click with the mouse to restart the previous function and select a hatch type called Simple Scratch. I'll set a rotation angle of 90 degrees and a spacing value of 0.3. This time I'll have to make sure to check the point by point method and press OK. Now I can enable the ortho mode to ensure the parallel placements of the hatch references and click on the points that will serve as the boundaries of this hatch. After indicating these points Click once again on the initial point and then right click to create the hatch. Now I can select it and change its color. Ok, I'm going to finish by creating two different fillings for the walls and partitions. The best way to do this is selecting the walls with the same thickness and assigning a solid color filling as a hatch. But doing this process one by one might take you a while. So the fastest way to do this is the following. First, choose the color of the filling you want to use for the walls with a thickness of 25 cm. I'm going to use this dark gray. Now I'm going to use the smart selection function to select only this type of walls. To do this, go to Utilities, Selection, Smart Selection. In this window, you'll see all the objects and attributes of the project and you can filter a specific selection by choosing a type of object, attribute or a combination of both. In this case, I want to select only the straight walls with a thickness of 25 centimeters. So I click on the plus sign next to Objects 
then on the plus sign of straight walls and now I click on the 0 0.25 value. Press OK and now make a selection box of all the region which you want the smart selection to make effect. After doing this, right click with the mouse and now you have all the walls with 25 cm thickness selected. Now you can go to the hatch function, choose a solid color type and choose the walls insertion method. Press OK and the hatch will be inserted automatically inside the selected walls. Let's insert a different solid color filling into the rest of partitions. Right click holding the shift key to open the smart selection window and select both partition walls by holding the control key while selecting them. Now press OK, go to the hatch function and do the same process as before. After creating the filling, you can select the whole hatch and change its color. Note that in the intersection between walls with different thickness, the pack doesn't know which thickness to select, so there is no hatch. To fix this, open the hatch function, select the point by point method, disable the ortho mode, and indicate the respective points to create a solid color hatch with the color you prefer. As you can see, the hatches have been placed on top of the geometry. To fix this, we can first select the hatches using the Smart Selection function, and now I have to go to Utilities, Arrange, and select Send to Pack. 